What's up guys? Welcome back to NorCal Cycling 2 and welcome back to another race weekend vlog. If you're new here, the videos on the channel documenting my progress around... If you're new here, these... Oh my god, I can't You've stop. done this a hundred times. If you're new here, this channel is documenting the progress for me going from this guy to, well, now just loving racing bikes. My first season of racing bikes. So exciting. So we're heading to another race this weekend. Alyssa and I are in the car, everything's packed up, but this is a little bit of a different vlog. I don't know if you guys could tell from the thumbnail and the title, but we're not doing crit race. We're headed up to Shasta to do a gravel race this weekend. Wanted to experience what gravel is like, wanna document it. This is gonna be extremely hard for me. Like the chances of me finishing this are slim, but it's the experience that matters. Gonna go have fun. We have an awesome group of people this weekend. We have myself and Alyssa, we have Luke, and then we have Jackson and his girlfriend, Bex. We're all gonna be staying at an Airbnb up in Shasta. Really looking forward to it. I'm bringing you guys along for the weekend. It's currently Thursday, Liz and I are headed up. And yeah, there's uh, the weather's supposed to be gnarly this weekend as well. So that just adds a whole nother factor to it. I'm excited. Like we said, we're just trying not gravel, trying to experience all the bikes. Why the heck not? This is gonna be fun. Let's get into it. Okay, Alyssa and I have two hours and 37 minutes left of this drive, but there is no sign of snow yet, which is promising, <laughs> kinda, for us. I think probably the last hours when we're gonna see snow and really see that weather turn. But Luke, on the other hand, has a, has a pretty crazy journey to get out of this race. I thought I'd kinda share some of his story with you guys. So he flew down to Northern California for work this week he did that crit race with us last weekend in Merced, absolutely awesome. Super stoked he came out and did that, super cool experience. But because he did that, he only had one bike with him, which is his tarmac. Can't really ride it on gravel. Like this is a pretty gnarly gravel race, so you need a, you need a gravel bike, which he has. For our friend, who's a videographer, was gonna meet us down at Shasta and bring his gravel bike. But because of the weather, he was unable to make it. So, called Luke yesterday, told him he couldn't make it because of the weather, totally understandable. So Luke flew home just now from Sacramento and he's gonna land there tonight and then drive back from Portland to Shasta in the morning with his gravel bike. Okay, we are about 10 minutes out. Woo, okay, there's the light. Okay, we're about 10 minutes out from the Airbnb. There is a ton of snow on the ground. I love the snow. I'm excited for it, but I've never really ridden a bike in the snow. Also, I mean, I'll talk more about, you know, gravel riding and all that tomorrow, but I've ridden this bike once that I'm borrowing for this gravel ride, which was yesterday. I'll do a bike breakdown when we're there, but I have zero experience. So this is going to be interesting to say the least, but I'm excited to check into the Airbnb just kind of have a nice relaxing night. Look forward to it. Oh, my gosh this is uh can you guys see the snow dude this is crazy it's oh cold. my <laughs> this is crazy oh ah. <laughs> there is so much snow up here okay they they have sleds so this is probably gonna happen this weekend i'm guessing look how much snow there is oh my good gosh we get we did it we made it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. We'll do a full room tour tomorrow, but little sneak peek. Everyone's gonna be here tomorrow. Super excited. I think listen. Huh? Tomorrow. Happy, f whoa, I probably shouldn't clap in front of the camera, it's probably loud. Good morning, happy Friday, y'all. One day before race day, snowed a little bit more last night, which is uh, kind of crazy, but everyone else is traveling to the house right now. 
So let's check with them, see how they're doing. Thank you for watching up to this point. And yeah, we got race day tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Of course, you beautiful people. And be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. It really goes a long way. All right, let's see how everyone else is doing. Uh, on the way to Shasta, uh, I'm being passenger princess here. Got Shorty driving. Uh, yeah, the weather's looking great right here in like, where are we, like Williams? Like 60 and sunny, so hopefully it stays this way all the way up to Shasta, although I doubt it. Looks like we're gonna have some snow. I can see in the little hills around that there's some snow on the top. So I've got about two hours to go, hoping to ride with EJ and Luke this afternoon. And yeah, get a, get a little shakeout ride in, get ready for the big day tomorrow. Let's go. He's back. Like you know. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, good to see you, man. What is up? How was the adventure getting here? Well, we hopped on a flight in Sacramento yesterday. Had 35 minutes to catch my flight. We got there, landed in Portland last night, grabbed my gravel rig, and made the five hour drive down here. Woo! I just want to ride my bike. That's Dude, it. Dude, look what we're riding in today. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is absurd. Look at this. Why, why is it when we ride together, it's just chaos? Hey, at least it's sunny. It the weather. It's sunny. It's, it's a good day. What up, MTV Cribs? Welcome to my crib. We are out here in Weed, California. <laughs> my mouth is kind of blue because I just finished eating some blueberries. It's like a really good go-to snack, but come on in. We'll show you guys the Airbnb real quick. So we got the living room over here. Super gorgeous, super wide open. Beautiful spot. Then we got the kitchen, which is already a mess because we're a bunch of Viking degenerates. We've got some Stroop waffles on deck. Shout out goo. This gingerade flavor, pretty good. Kind of hits the hits the spot. And if you come over here, a little sneak peek, I'll give you guys more of a breakdown. But this is my bike for the for the hugger this weekend. A little giant revolt. Shh. Yeah, we'll, we'll give we'll give them we'll give them more of a peek later, Alyssa. And then you come back here. You can see all the snow outside looking crazy. And you come in here, we got a nice pantry. Wow. Come back over here. And you come down the hall, you got a bathroom on the right. Got Jackson and Bex's room on the left here. And then you got Alyssa and I's master bathroom. Master bathroom? Master, master bedroom back here. Kind of sick. All you can see out the window is snow. Kind of cool. Hey guys. Okay, and then we got to show you Luke's pad. This is pretty sick. Dude, it's hot up here. <laughs> okay, and then we come up here to Luke's pad. This is kind of sick. Got an extra bed here. Got another bed here. Got Luke's bed. Nice full bathroom in there as well. Luke's got a sick TV. Then there's another bed right there. Would you look at that? And look at the beautiful outdoors. You know, it's probably too bright. You guys can't see, but that's okay. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! It's enough playing this now. I think we're gonna go dry off. Get ready for tomorrow. Jackson should be here soon. Hopefully, he's doing okay. Look who's here. So, he made it. <laughs> How was your travels, Jack? Uneventful for the most part until like, you know, 500 feet ago. <laughs> and then the snow banks emerged. Good to see you. Good to have you back on the vlog. We're about to uh, go sledding on bikes. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to get a warm up in for tomorrow. Yeah, right? so to... tomorrow uh, we're, we're doing the, the race. And so today we're doing a little shakeout ride. I call them openers. I like to do, you know, like an hour and a half, put a couple of little efforts in there, just get woken up for the next day. You do look like an egg. No, the, the world hasn't seen me without my long hair. This is what I look like. With Not... just your mustache, you look so interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Oh no! I'm going down! Oh. 
Oh no! Okay, as you guys can see, we're in one piece. Vibes are high. We finished our test ride for the day. I think we're gonna eat dinner, relax, maybe play some games tonight. <laughs> Race day tomorrow! You! Saturday. It is race day. Today's the day. Jack. How are we feeling? We're feeling good. I am not intimidated by this one bit. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. So, <laughs> and yeah. uh, let, let's give the people a little breakdown. What, what are your expectations for this race? My expectations are to have a good day, really, first and foremost. I feel okay. like that's what gravel's about. Gravel's really a vibe. Good day. But if I get to go beyond that, you know, a dub would be the dream. Um, podium would be great. But I want to be at the front. I want to be competitive. Luke, how are you feeling this morning? Feeling good. And l l weather, I don't know how I feel about the snow. As long as it stays snow, it doesn't rain on us, yeah. I'll feel good. But, you know, I'm just out there, too, kind of uh, trying to enjoy the vibes, kind of see where it goes. Uh, definitely finish, hopefully finish in the mid-pack, and hopefully roll in with EJ together. Yeah, and you've you've ridden some gravel before, right? Yeah, I've had a gravel bike for about a half a year. This is my first gravel race, um, so we'll see how it goes. Me, on the other hand, just so you guys know, I'm just trying to finish. Um, like I know my fitness is pretty decent, but definitely not decent enough to keep up with Jack and the people at the front of the back. So we're probably gonna try to be mid-pack, and this will be the third time I've ever ridden this bike that I'm borrowing for this race. So very, very new to gravel. My bike handling skills are not amazing. Still trying to figure it out, but just trying to have a good day, have fun out there. And try not to freeze in the snow. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well, we're here at the start line. Um, still quite snowy. We're gonna see what we're gonna get into. I don't know. I'm nervous to be honest. <laughs> this is gonna be something. My outfit is uh, it's something. You know what? It's not about looking cool. It's about staying warm today. Vibes. <laughs> you. There's a lot of snow. <laughs> All right, give us a bike rundown, Luke. What are you riding today? All right, so we're on my Specialized Diverge here. Uh, we got um, some Continental Terra Speeds, 
35 mils, so a little skinny, but uh, we're gonna go for it. Wasn't counting on the snow, but I think 35 with the tread, I'll be all right. And then uh, I got this giant revolt that uh, I'm borrowing from Jack and Teams Mike's bikes. Got GRX on it, super sick build. Got a nice power meter. I'm excited. It handles well. Got 40s on here as well, the IRC 40s. So gonna be nice for the snow. All right, uh, loyal viewers of the channel might recognize this bike from the Couch to Crate 3000. This is my Cervelo Asparo. I've got it set up pretty dang well for today. Uh, I've got it one by drivetrain with a is it 46 tooth up front and a 1046. So I've got a one to one gear ratio, but it's pretty flat. I probably won't need that. But I've got these super nice Princeton Carbon Works wheels, the wavy wheels. And then I've got the Continental Terra Speeds for the tires with this sexy cream color. Yeah. Um, 40 millimeters, maybe a bit much, but I'd rather be a little over tired than a little under, so. Getting our pre-race goo in. Shout out goo, sponsor the channel. Absolutely love you guys. It's gnarly out there. We have about 45 minutes till race. We're just trying to stay warm, got all our packets, everything dialed in. The vibe is super fun, but I just have a little bit of anxiety about the snow. I know it's gonna be squirrely out there. My bike handling skills are still not the best, so I think Luke and I are probably gonna try to roll together for the most part and just make sure each other finishes, and then we'll see Jack at the end. Jack's gonna do his own thing. We'll have GoPros on my bike and Jack's bike, so we'll see some of Jack's race, and he might vlog a little bit with his phone if he has time, but it's gonna be exciting. Also, shout out to the people that I met here. Everyone, there was a couple people that I met said they watched the channel. You guys are amazing. Seriously, the support is unreal. Love you guys, thank you so much, and uh, Let's get it. You. Okay, y'all, just a few minutes to go. Uh, so if you're doing the full hugger, come on, line up. And just like that, we are off. The race has started. But let, let, let's talk about this course real quick. Um, so they had to modify the course. It originally was supposed to be 99 miles and like 75,000, not 75,000, 7,500 feet of climbing. So it was going to be a gnarly day, but luckily they shortened it a little bit to 81 miles, 4,200 feet of climbing. So it seemed like it was going to be a little bit more manageable for me, but with this weather and gravel being a whole different beast, I was still nervous and I still felt like this race was going to be really freaking hard. I mean, look at this start. There's snow on the side of the road, the rain, it was like sleet coming down. And I was like, oh dear, dude, this is going to be a long day. Now my plan for this race was to just kind of sit in and see how long I could stick with the lead pack. But I started in the very, very back. So the first part of this race is me just trying to get a bearing for what the heck's going on realizing that we're about to endure this crazy weather and just try to move up so I don't get dropped right off the bat. And right here, Luke is to my left. I finally find Luke in this big pack and we kind of decide to see how long we can hang on to this group here. We're almost reaching that lead group. You can kind of see they're dangling off up there. But we were like, you know what? It's about five miles into this race at this point the snow is coming down there's snow all over the road the conditions are terrible but why not let's go see if we can see our buddy jackson up in the front and see how long we can hang on and would you look at that luke and i actually made it to the front of the race for a little bit jackson's over there on my left side tell me to pull through for a little bit do a little token pull um i think he wanted to get a shot of me on his gopro so we'll switch over to that and look at that real quick i mean you know content first why not uh do a little hero pull keep keep the peloton rolling fast and uh, yeah it was kind of cool to be on the front for a little bit at this point it, and i was just nervous you know i didn't know what to expect didn't really know what was going on but i mean yeah just like i said trying to feel it out go out here have fun and just enjoy the day as you guys can see the snow is kind of starting to subside on on the side of the road here the it wasn't coming down as hard so at this point, we were a little bit lower in elevation. You'll see the snows, <laughs> little, little spoiler. It's, it's, it's only, the weather's only gonna get worse throughout this day, but right here we were feeling good. And the first attack of the day goes on the left there. And if you guys watch any of the videos on the main channel, you know me, I, I like to follow attacks and 
go after that and I usually follow everything. But here, I kind of was like, I don't really belong here. I was kind of having a little bit of like imposter syndrome. Like I don't belong on this front Peloton, which is very true. Everyone else here is super, super, super powerful and, you know, really, really well skilled in gravel. And then there's, uh, and then there's me kind of hanging on for dear life. So I kind of let that attack go and just fall back but still try to hang on to this front group. So fast forward to about 15 miles into this race and Jackson, Luke and I are all still a part of this front Peloton, which is uh, kind of crazy. The sleet is back though, but we're all just kind of cruising and everything was honestly going a little bit too well. I was feeling really good. I was kind of surprised myself. I was like, wow, maybe this uh, isn't gonna be as bad as I thought. You know, maybe this uh, isn't gonna be as hard as I thought. But, uh, like I said, everything was going a little bit too well. Oh my god. Just gnarly crash. Guy in front of me went down. Ow. I'm trying to fix my bike, I'm okay. So, uh, yeah, my first, uh, my first big crash happened. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was, uh, it was tough, not gonna lie. I mean, so I don't, unfortunately, I don't have uh, any footage to show you guys. I wasn't recording with the front GoPro when it happened, but I was part of the lead pack. Everything was going really, really smoothly, and a uh, guy hit a pothole in front of me, and it launched him into the guy's wheel in front of him, and then he went down super hard. And then the next thing I know, I am just hitting the ground, and then there is like four or five bikes on top of me. And yeah, it was uh, it was kind of crazy. I mean, you know, if if I'm gonna have a crash, this was best case scenario. Luckily, I just uh, just escaped with bumps and bruises. The only thing that was really hurting was my lower back and my knee at this point. But the the biggest bummer, as you guys can see from the footage, is uh, I had to fix my derailleur. Like my hanger got a little bit bent, my chain came off, and it took me kind of like 15ish minutes to get myself back on my bike and rolling again. So I'm all alone. Like the next group behind me is pretty far back because the lead group was hammering, you know, comparative to them. So it was like, wow, okay, I guess, uh, you know, and, and we were only 20, 25 miles into the race at this point. I got a long race ahead and it looks like it's just gonna be solo. Now, while I'm traveling on my lonely road, Luke was in the first chase group and Jackson was still in the lead group. So uh, let's let's throw it over to Jackson's GoPro and kind of see what he's up to. So yeah, it looks like Jackson is just on the front, rotating turns. I mean, uh, what else do you expect? The guy is an absolute beast. Like we kind of said back at the Airbnb, you know, Luke and I were just trying to sit in. And Jackson had a legit chance of winning this. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's just pretty cool to see, you know, like he's, uh, he's up here just uh, rotating, putting in work. And I think at this point probably had about 35 minutes on me. So, you know, it was, uh, I was kind of living vicariously through him. I mean, I knew I came into this, uh, you know, with no shot of winning, but it was kind of cool to have a friend there that had a legit chance of uh, of getting on the podium. So uh, now back to my camera, and as you can see, I found a friend. I want to shout out this kid that he actually bridged up to me. His name is Alex. Honestly, I don't know if I would have kept going if it wasn't for this guy. He just kind of rolled up and was like, "Hey, let's do this together." You know, like let's uh, let's finish strong. He was he was super strong, just willing to just put in poles and kind of tow me along because at this point like I was just kind of struggling with that mental battle of like do I want to finish I mean you know like I came into this like I keep saying knowing that I don't have a shot of winning but after falling out of the lead group it was hard to like convince myself to put myself through this torture you know for like a mid-pack finish and to do it alone so like having someone there was absolutely huge and we just kind of rotated turns for a while and just hung out had a good time really gotten into some deep conversations and uh yeah i don't know this is kind of more what i was expecting from the gravel scene and the gravel vibe so shout out you alex you honestly are a lifesaver and you got me you got me through this man but let's see how luke's doing because 
we actually have our first glimpse of loot coming up here in a second. I am coming unraveled right now. How like there you go? Easy class. You got this. You're almost to the aid station. Word. Is DJ alright? He is okay, yeah. Okay, cool. He hurt his like hip and his shoulder, but he's okay. So you got a half mile to the aid station. We'll see you there. You're looking a little muddy, my friend. Yeah, it got crazy. I was in a four man break, four man split. Um, got popped on this hill, uh, hoping I can find someone to latch on for some flat parts, but it's wild. Snowy, it's muddy, but it's all good. So as you guys can see, uh, my wonderful fiance and Jackson's girlfriend, Bex, were actually in the car filming and going around different spots of the route. So they found Luke and <clears throat> caught him on one of the biggest climbs of the day, which was just kind of cool for me to see, you know, in post looking back at it. I wish I could have rode this, this whole ride with him, but I didn't want to ruin his results in race because... Uh, you know, I crashed like that. That's just not fair. So glad he just went and kept chugging on. And I'm glad I found my boy, Alex, you know, so I didn't have to ride this alone. But uh, as you guys can see on the GoPro right now, Alex and I are starting to approach this climb. The snow is back, but the sun is out. I remember this moment just being so freaking cold. As Luke said in uh, in his little clip that, that the ladies got, you know, we had about like 30, 35 miles left when we started to hit the base of this climb. And I was really starting to feel it. I was like, wow, this is this is freaking tough. And this is where it all started to uh, unravel for me. Go downhill, so to speak. I mean, like we're actually going downhill in this GoPro clip. But I mean, you guys know I, I try to be a pretty positive guy. But this last 20 miles of this race... I was in a pretty dark place. I was unbelievably cold. My toes were numb. All these little kickers, which is like what we're hitting right now, were just so freaking hard. And like, if I didn't have Alex, I would have tapped out right here, right now. And one of the biggest problems too is going downhill was was tough because I just didn't have the bike handling skills, wasn't quite used to it, and it was so freaking slick. And also it's muddy, so you're still doing like 250, 300 watts just trying to hold the speed, you know? Cause like, if you're not pedaling, if you're not, you know, putting an effort on the downhill, you literally drop down to like 10 miles an hour going down the hill. It was, uh, it was crazy to say the least. and. I was in that place that all these gravel people talk about all the time that you're just like, you know, this quote unquote dark place. Like I just, I didn't know I could get there, but here we are. And luckily Alex and I were, uh, we were there together this whole time. We were like, man, we don't know if we can do this, but just kind of, you know, cheering each other on and letting each other know that we're here for each other. And it's, it's so cool that this like, you bond with someone like this, like <laughs> kind of almost like trauma bonding, I guess is what you could call it. But like, I don't know. I literally met this guy this day and now he's coming to my wedding next year. Like that's kind of what makes me so happy about this, this gravel scene and kind of what, you know, the positive from, from this day, you know, like the crash happened and the weather was gnarly and man, it was freaking hard. But like meeting someone like Alex, now someone that I could call a lifelong friend, dude, makes it all worth it for sure. You want a bottle? And while I'm back there suffering, look at Jackson with a big smile on his face, decided to ditch his chase group and try to chase the guys solo up the road with like five miles left it was going to come down to the wire and would you look at that jackson is the first one 
to cross the line. But the biggest bummer of the day is he actually came in like second or third because he took a wrong turn at some point on the course and he actually got DQ'd. So like, I, or I guess he would have come in second or third with the time they did, but he actually got DQ'd, which is just like an absolute bummer because of that wrong turn. And he cut off like two miles of the course or something like that on accident. Uh, I, I felt so bad for him, but you know what? His spiritual st were still high. He was cheering Luke on as he crosses the line right here, coming in 26th with his awesome first first gravel race. And then bringing up the rear, your boy coming in, I think like 33rd or something. I did it. I freaking finished. And I literally could not have done it without my boy, Alex. Gotta shout him out one more time. Yeah. Pink highlights today. It turns out they're not so pink anymore. Oh my God. And that was hello, Ethan hello. Jones just crossing the finish line there. Welcome back, Ethan. Thank you. Ethan Jones, aka EJ. Yeah. Everything really hurts. Hey, you too, man. We're almost caught, dude. Oh, we try. We tried our best. I see some holes uh, here. Yeah. Is crash. that part of the story? Yeah. I'll Full tell him later. Everything. My back is like kind of tweaked. It was uh, it was hard to finish, but we got it done, dude. How'd you do? Uh, I won. No. Shit. By like five minutes. Yeah. Are you serious? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought I did. Oh wow, what happened? I didn't know I cut the course. I did 75 miles instead of 80. <laughs> oh my goodness. What an absolute crazy day. I'm responding to you guys that are DMing me on Instagram. Thank you so much. And for everyone that I met out at that event, that was like so cool. Everyone that came up to me, like, thank you guys so much for the support. Absolutely unreal. Yeah, that was uh, that was really, really tough. To everyone that races gravel, tip of the cap to you. That was really hard. After going down, I really, really wanted to bail and be done. But, uh, you know, just got to push through. And shout out to Alex. I hope you're watching this. Um, he and I met up like 10 to 15 miles after I crashed. He kind of rolled up on me and we just hit it off. And we just rode the last three and a half hours together. And I honestly couldn't have done it without him. Like... He pulled me through the wind, stuff like that. I mean, you guys will see in the GoPro breakdown, but wow, what a what an absolutely crazy day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.